Hey there, nature lovers. It is Jackie from Miku Endeavor, and today we're talking about the food forest in September. I'm actually hiding out in the RV right now because my neighbors are still building and they're just so loud and I just, I just want them to go home. <laughs> but soon they're going to live here and then it's just going to be loud all the time. So I guess I got to get used to filming inside. So that's where we are today. So September or August was kind of funny in the food forest. I didn't have water for two weeks while I was on holiday. And then I came back and then it just like rained for like two weeks straight. So I have like tomatoes that are splitting and got blossom and rot and just, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff from the irregular watering. So that was kind of an issue with August. But again, I am just like so impressed that anything is growing in this garden to begin with because it started with gravel. Like it was gravel, like straight gravel. And now it is a beautiful, thriving food forest. It's not where I want it to be. The soil health is definitely not where I want it to be. I pushed a lot of that soil this year by planting annuals in with my perennials. I probably should have just kept them in the raised beds because uh, the ones that are in the raised beds did a lot better than the ones that I tried to plant in my native soil with like just only one year of soil building. So, you know, those heavy feeders, they just don't like to, they, they need, they need good soil. So you need good soil. I just pushed it too much. So what I'm doing from a food forest garden, there's so many tasks to be doing. Of course, obviously I'm harvesting and, and preserving as much as possible. I really wanted to make a bunch of salsa this year, but I think with my tomatoes that are not doing that great, I think I'm going to just make fermented salsa, not canned salsa, and just make my life easier. Fermented foods are a lot better for you anyway, so that's not a, not a big deal. My cucumbers, I thought I was going to have so many cucumbers, but actually they've been um, pretty slow. So they've been giving me a couple cucumbers every other day or every day, which has just been enough. I haven't even need to make pickles. So it's kind of a blessing in disguise, I guess, to not been overwhelmed with pickles in August because I just wasn't around in August. I ended up not being here for pretty much all of August and that was not my intent intention. So yeah, that was, it's good. There's no pickles, that's fine. So one thing I'm really doing a lot of right now is gathering seeds. So anything that I want to spread, I'm letting go to seed and I'm letting it stay just where it is and it'll replant itself and let nature do its thing. The ones that I want to spread out further in different areas, I'm collecting those seed heads like all of my yarrow right now. I have so many yarrow seeds and yarrow is a native plant here and I just want that to be everywhere. Pollinators love it. It's just a fantastic plant. The deer don't eat it. So I have been harvesting all of my yarrow and well, not all of it. Again, I'm leaving some to spread on its own, but I'm collecting a lot of it so I can to move around. The white clover as well. I've been taking deadheading off of the white clover and then saving that so I can also spread white clover around the garden and around in different areas because clover is nitrogen fixing. I have a whole video on why I love clover as living mulch instead of like wood chips. So go check that out if you need reasons of why to plant clover. The thing that I'm doing is planting out some winter starts and some seeds. So I had started my own winter starts and again, because I wasn't here in August, a lot of them died. Some managed to actually survive my weird little watering system I had set up. So I'm planting those out now, my kales, my other brassicas. I also bought a bunch of plant starts and I actually bought them for the school garden, but I have a couple extra that I kept for myself because I she was she gave me some free plants, so I kept some of those for myself, such as the lettuces that I planted and whatnot. I'm also planting more seeds. Right now is the time that like seeds are on sale. So I found some spinach seeds on sale. I I found I went through my own collection of seeds and I've just been planting more arugula some radishes there's still time for some of these really slow um not slow these really fast growing crops so my tip to use is just to look on the back of seed packets and then you'll be able to see how long it's going to take is there going to be enough daylight hours and sun hours before your before your first frost another task that i am doing in the food forest is harvesting my strawberry runners so I've been on a mission to try to grow my strawberry patch and expand it. And I've actually play, made two other little locations in the food forest where I want these strawberries to be. So I haven't been focusing on actually growing the berries. I've been focusing on making more plants. So I've been letting all my runners go. So I've harvested a whole bunch and I've been planting those out. I just did a video on how to do that if you're interested in learning more about that as well. Now, because the seeds are not the only thing that are on sale right now. All of the plants and like tr fruit trees and bushes are on sale and it's actually the best time to be planting. I don't know why nurseries haven't really caught on to that, that like fall is the best time to plant these in this region. 
because they all end up closing and they do these like blow clearance sales and yeah the plants might not be as like super healthy because they have been struggling all summer in those pots but they're like a great deal i got blueberries for six dollars and fifty cents and that is what I'm doing now is also planting out any new berry bushes that I want. Um, I bought a new fig tree and yeah, I'm going to make a video on that soon too. So stay tuned for that. More tasks in September include adding more mulch um, through leaves, through seaweeds. I'm going to be adding some horse manure compost after I've done a test on it to make sure it is going to be safe and viable. Um, yeah, and then cover cropping. Cover cropping is another tool. I've been spreading out all of my winter field peed seeds. I let them go, let a bunch go to seed. So I was just letting them go. They are great soil builders. So I just want to add them all over the garden. My little food forest has brought me so much joy. This garden this year has just been amazing. I just love going out and eating from it. I love watching all of the native species that I've been attracting. I saw it like the na Northern alligator lizard today which just blew my mind because I've seen this lizard about three times now and I wasn't sure if it was a native. So I actually got a good photo of it today and confirmed that yes, it is the native lizard, which is like, they're really, they're pretty rare. So I was quite like, I felt proud that I had made a nice little habitat for this, this lizard to want to come and hang out and eat all my slugs and <laughs> hang out in the garden. And yeah, I mean, I watch the hummingbirds every day. It's just, it's just become a very joyful space for me. So I'm really glad that I've uh, built it, like that I planted this last year and it's only like, again, this is the second year that it has been going. So it's, it's done a lot. It's been really good and yeah, it could be better. And yes, the, there's still a lot to be done to build that, the, build that soil health, but I'm very proud of my beautiful for fruit forest garden and what it has become in such a short time. If you are also enjoying watching my food forest building journey and watching these little plants and fruit trees and bushes grow and flourish in my really sandy gravel soil, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you along for the journey. And yeah, I'm hoping to build a really great community here and I need some like-minded people to join me in this soil building food forest mission. So anyways, um, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.